And with the nationwide vaccine still in the works, the Las Vegas doctor is floating his own idea around about how to kill COVID-19. He's a psychiatrist, but says history could be our guide. I'm an MD and I have an idea how to control it. Dr. Muhammad Haider practices addiction medicine and psychiatry. Infectious diseases like the coronavirus are not his specialty. But he's sharing a theory after reading about a famous psychiatrist's work from 100 years ago. That doctor was trying to treat severe mental illness caused by syphilis. The bacteria causing syphilis cannot sustain high heat. So when he put him in a high fever, it roasted those bacteria in the brain and the recovery started. Back then, the doctor generated heat using malaria. Dr. Heider believes you may be able to kill COVID-19 by exposing patients to radiation. He's not the only one thinking along those lines. They've done studies probably between 1905 and the, the 40s uh, where they've tested giving uh, radiation and use its anti-inflammatory effects. Dr. Andrew Cohen is a radiation oncologist with the Comprehensive Cancer Centers of Nevada. He says radiation has worked in the past for some illnesses and trials recently started for treating COVID-19. They're giving a low dose of radiation therapy similar to what we might give in the office uh, uh, about half the dose of what we might give in one treatment to somebody with cancer. Researchers hoping the radiation will reduce inflammation in the lungs, helping patients get off ventilators and ultimately on the road to recovery. But they're a long way from publishing any results. Dr. Cohen also warns radiation therapy won't prevent the coronavirus. It would only be for treating those already with the virus. The therapy also comes with a major drawback. We've gotten away from that because if you give radiation therapy to large populations of people with benign disease over a long period of time, some of them will develop complications from the radiation therapy, even as bad as other cancers developing. It's a risk, he says, some patients and their families are willing to take during current trials. Dr. Cohen says if it proves to be effective, radiation therapy will only be used for the most severe cases. These patients are very sick right now and they're on the verge of dying and they, some of them don't have the opportunity to live beyond this episode. So it's worth it in the short run. Yeah, that certainly makes sense. And to read more on this, you can head to KTNV.com and check out the rebound section.